We're going to cover word spells, how post-Mesopotamian language has had us under the old abracadaver trick. Hast thou fallen for the eldest trick in the scroll? How do I even begin? Is it by telling you about how we've been unwittingly cast into the mold of ancient spells of our modern spelling? Cast just like a mold, or perhaps like a net, while caught like fish in the net of spells and spelling that have been cast, thus sentencing us to life sentences and the curses of cursive, which are just terms, like serving a prison term? So we've been sentenced to the wards of these words, which can be deadly as swords if misunderstood. Or perhaps you missed my understanding of my terms or the sibyls of my syllables or even the ancient rites of modern writing. We languish in our languid language in anguish ever since the ancient times of the Anglish Angus, and the phony phonetic phonics of the ancient Phoenician Phoenix. You think English is easy? Sometimes I think English should be committed to an asylum for the verbally insane. In what language do people recite at a play and play at a recital? Ship by truck and send cargo by ship have noses that run, and feet that smell. How can a slim chance and a fat chance be the same, while a wise man and a wise guy are opposites? You have to marvel at the unique lunacy, or the lunar sea, of language in which your house burns up as it burns down, in which you fill in a form by filling it out, and in which an alarm goes off by going on. English was created by the ancient Phoenician phonics of the phony Phoenician phoenix, and it reflects the creativity and cunning genius of the human race, in which of course isn't a race at all unless you're just another rat caught in the daily maze of the rat race of this human race against one another. We draw money from our banks, which are the edges of a river, which flows in currents to the sea which is why it's called currency, because our cash flows like pyroclastic ash flows to the sea, which is why we can trace back the roots of all modern trade to the ancient Phoenician trade roots, and why our mundane weekdays seem to keep us in a perpetually weak days, until we are so weakened that we barely make it to the weekend. So each day we actually awake routinely in the morning, or is it the Monday morning ritual conversely conversing a morning at a wake for the dead? And thus the Bible speaks that the dead shall walk the earth, or so it appears that they already are, without even knowing it, just by the strange language of which they know not the true origins of what their words mean in etymology. And thus the significance of the signs and sins in signification of their signatures on these dead legal fictions, like IDs and bills, because our citizenship begins when we board the citizenship, which sails the high seas carrying semen, and it all begins when the male ship docks in the female slot or slip, also known as its berth, and unloads its cargo or semen which sail up the waters of the canal. So she gets pregnant and now carries the precious cargo and will now give birth to the new citizen that must now register to board that citizen ship and repeat the cycle all over again until the citizens catch on to the ancient spells of the phony phonetic Phoenicians, their tools of commerce and piracy of the high seas and the human commodity through the use of their made-up languid language which gives us our modern English. Check out the links in the video below. I've included more links and more information about this topic. Please look into this topic further if it sounds interesting to you and you st are starting to actually see the connections between how all languages have the same roots back in ancient traditions and this has been going on for thousands of years, which is why they included it in the Bible and said, let us go down and corrupt their language that they may not understand one another. 
So that's how it's been done for thousands of years. I'm not the one doing it right now. I'm just showing you how it's been done so that you can actually see the connections between these words that we would deem as homophones, which they're homophones, which come from the phony Phoenician phonetics of phonics and how words sound because that's the magic in it. That's where the magic comes in because if you don't see the connections and you're lost in the scholarly dictionary rather than the esoteric dictionaries that hide the true meanings in the way it sounds so that you'll pass it off as just coincidence and you won't look deeper into where these words come from and what they actually mean like how Paleo-Hebrew alphabets or the Aleph Bait became the Greek alphabet and then became the modern English alphabet so that is where this modern English language comes from which is used to control commerce over the seas and thus the banking system and thus keep us in ignorance of how it's all connected so thank you for your time I appreciate you watching this video please feel free to share it please share this information and the links below please uh, research further into this topic I will include you more resources if you need those to get started into how this language word spells and spelling has been going on and how it's abracadabra I create what I speak and I'll close with a quote from Philip K. Dick the basic tool for the manipulation of reality is the manipulation of words if you can control the meaning of words you can control the people who must use the words and this has also been going on since for thousands of years in slavery how if a slave master can control and corrupt the slaves language original their true language that they will not will no longer understand the terms that the master is using so that they could actually be free and so this is how the master use uses control to keep the population subservient to the master and this has been going on for thousands of years and still is through our modern language and through our court system and through commerce because there's the English language is also known as legalese it's the language spoken in all major modern court systems because it's used for control because people don't know how the language is used and what it means and I've included some more links for you to understand how it's been happening and how it continues to this day without our understanding for example like the word Christ it's a common misunderstood term because no one understands the etymology of where it comes from which the word Christ comes from the etymological roots of ancient Greek Christos which is oil and chrism which is milk, cream, or oil. It's, so it's the sacred fluid. It's the secretion of the consecration when we get anointed with the sacred fluid. And this is why you must get down on your knees to be anointed with the sacred secretion of the consecration of the sacred fluid which is the sacred cream, or milk, or chrism, Christos, which is why today we have our Crisco oil, because the Christ is the chrism, it's the oil, the oil of the cerebrospinal system, the cerebrospinal fluid, which contains an oil-like substance. And so that's what the Christ is, the Christ is the chrism within, it's the oil it's everything but what we've been told that it is what our common concept of what these definitions mean so with that thank you for your time please check out the links I've included below research this further and uh, share this information share this video share the links share everything that I've shared with you continue to pass this information on so that people can awaken to what etymology means and where things come from and how they've, they're being used.
Hello everyone, my name is Cullen Smith. I'm a published author. Today I would like to introduce you all to my brand new published book, The Hive Mind Invasion of Civilization, a compendium of esoteric science, symbolism, and universal secrets. If you'd like to purchase this book, you can head over to my brand new website that I've set up. It's still very bare bones. There's a lot of work I need to do on the site, but for now it's got the basic things that I need on there until I upload all of my content. You can sign up for the newsletter to receive email updates on all of my posts as I begin to populate the site with all of my archives of articles, books, videos, and films, and courses, and all of that good stuff. So you'll get notifications as I begin to populate the website website with all of my content on it um, so that's a good reason to sign up um, right now even though there's no content on it yet but you can pick up my books there I've got my hive mind book I've also got a couple other titles that I've released for which are just uh, study aids they are journals such as divine manifestations a dream journal to log your uh, dream and awakening experiences and to um, highlight any insights or intuitions that may come to you along your process of uh, growth and um, exploration of all of this content. I've got a food journal to log your nutritional progress and to log your health and fitness uh, progress as well. And I've got a 50 Days of Gratitude journal as well, and I will be releasing uh, several more titles as well um, to help expand and explore your own creativity and um, things of that nature. So these are these make great gifts for any friends, beloved family, any loved ones. Um, so these are great gifts that you can pick up and also support Lifting the Veil and the work that I do in the process. Um, so feel free and head on over to my brand new website, LiftingTheVeil.tv. And I will see you, all of you there. All right, have a great day. Thank you. My name is Cullen Smith. This is Lifting the Veil. You can find all of my full books, presentations, videos, films, articles, posts at subscribestar.com slash lifting the veil. Patreon has suspended this work and my account and income stream for this content. So if you are a supporting patron, then please, I ask you to move your support over to subscribestar.com slash lifting the veil. And I have just established a completely free uncensored totally free speech social media platform that replaces facebook twitter youtube every other platform all in one on liftingtheveil.locals.com you can download the locals app and you can join our group and have totally free speech and totally uncensored unrestricted content access and um, there are, is also a ton of exclusive content and I will leave the cited reference links in the description down below. So you can check that out for all of my full content and I will see you guys in the next video. I rely solely on word of mouth and the recommended algorithms are not recommending any of my videos or films anymore. My channel has literally been completely restricted. So I rely on your help by sharing my work around if you appreciate it and uh, leave me your comments. I definitely want to know what you have to share and what you have to think about all of this stuff. And I will see you in the next video.